Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I just want to wish you all a very happy birthday. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Leos. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my dearest Leos. Okay. We have the devil, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, your person is showing up as the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. They're viewing you as the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Obstacles and challenges are what's hidden the tower, so you can expect some sort, something unexpected here, Leo. And your final outcome, you have wish fulfillment and healing coming towards you. Hmm. For some of you, what I'm seeing, if your person was dealing with a karmic situation, they're leaving that. They fear they've missed an opportunity with you. Page of Pentacles in reverse tells me that things aren't moving right now. There may be zero communication. You don't have to do anything right now. I feel this devil energy here that you two worry about each other, think about each other a lot. Um, but I also feel that you're manifesting some sort of return or some sort of movement in this connection. So the devil energy and the moon card. So for some of you, your person was dealing with maybe a Cancer or a Pisces. They may, have, they may be coming out of that connection. I also feel that your person may have some unhealthy behaviors or something that they were hiding from you. Um, but I do feel like it's going to come out into the open. And we see the five of pentacles in reverse. I also feel, Leo, that your person has very deep feelings for you. And they want to make it up to you, um, whatever has happened here. Or they don't want to miss this opportunity with you. So the eight of swords energy in reverse tells me that your person, they've been really in their head about this connection. Maybe even about a decision that they made, but they're coming out. They're coming out of this they're coming out, they're thinking clearly, uh, they're going to speak the truth. For some of you, they're leaving behind a karmic situation because they don't want to miss this opportunity with you. Hermit card, if your person ghosted or your person went quiet, Virgo energy, um, I feel like that's, that's all about to change. They're about to show up, slide into your DMs. They're restless. This person wants to heal things with you, wants to have like, quote unquote, the talk, Leo, um, this person, I feel like they're really worried about missing this opportunity or losing out. Yeah, this person may see you as having moved on or, you know, if they stop giving you attention, I feel like my Leos, you took all of your strength and your power to move in a different direction or you cut them off. This person wants to heal things with you, but they are worried, Leo, that you are going to reject them. This may come as a shock and a surprise to you. We have the tower energy, which is Aries and Scorpio energy. Um, the strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, your person is really nervous. Your person may have been wish-washy. Um, they may have made some decisions that they regret. They may have moved in a different direction, but they have not stopped thinking about you. They have very deep feelings and they want nothing more than to heal this connection with you or to get this connection back on track. With the devil energy, for some of you, this person has had some unhealthy coping mechanisms, whether that's drinking, getting high, partying, whatever it is. Um, I feel like that's also something that you either, maybe you don't know the extent of it, but I do think that they're coming out to tell you the truth about, yep, there we go. The Queen of Swords here is truth and communication that's going to be shocking, but I also feel like it's really hard for your person. Um, again, not making excuses for them or there are any bad behavior, but with the Strength card energy in reverse, your person's feeling gassed. They're feeling exhausted. I feel that they're actually very stressed, Leo, about whatever it is that's going on and the fact that they may have lost you because they may see you getting attention from others. But you do have healing and wish fulfillment. So some of my Leos with the uh, Knight, Knight of Swords in reverse, you're going to cut this person off. Um, if they weren't healthy or they bring you drama or they were lying to you. And this is just a reminder to have faith that you do have love coming towards you, but it's going to be completely up to you. And for some of you, it may be with this person, Seven of Swords energy, that you're going to see things much more clearly. And that's going to help you decide whether or not, you know, this person is worth your time, your energy and your effort. The Two of Pentacles tells me, Leo, that many of you, you have a really big decision 
um, coming up here regarding this person, regarding this relationship. Um, a lot of you, you're back and forth or you have been back and forth with this person. So with the star card, many of you, if you feel like this was some sort of trauma bond, I feel like you've been working hard to heal that. You are going to get the truth about how this person feels. And like I said, it feels 50-50. Some of you are going to want to work on this connection. For others of you, you're going to say, you know what, not, not worth my time or I've healed from this, I've moved on. Um, yeah, because they're seeing that they potentially have lost or missed out on an opportunity here with you. So let's see what Spirit has to say about this connection. So somebody here, I feel your person, Leo, they do want to work on the connection. Now for some of you, the devil energy can be workaholism. It doesn't have to mean that, you know, your person, you know, has some sort of addiction. Um, but we see that this is a destined partnership so that you definitely came in contact with each other to learn lessons, maybe to purge, release, heal, karma. So financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay, so that can also be an energy of uh, self-worth or lack. And yep, this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Leo, your decision right now is does the situation align with your values and morals? All right, because like I said, a lot of you, you're not so sure anymore. Okay, you're not so sure anymore. Let's see. Additional messages, please, for my Leos regarding their person. So this person, this person definitely is crushing on you. Um, they want to get things back on track. They like you. There's some sort of romance blooming here, um, but they may feel like they they did something or they or they didn't put time and effort into this connection, and they lost you because of that. But it does look like your person is transcending obstacles. Again, cutting out bad behaviors or recognizing that you know if they want to hold on to you and hold on to this connection, they've definitely got some work to do here. And I feel that they're restless to talk. They're restless to come in and sort of prove that to you. All right, Leo's in your energy. Yeah, some of you, you definitely do want to work on this connection, but you also need to make sure that any sort of bad behaviors or, um, you know, karmic, like anything that was kind of stuck needs to be changed. Um, and we see that there is a lot of passion here between the two of you that you do like each other equally. For some of you, this may not have been a higher level of commitment, but it may have been something that was you know, just sort of getting off the ground and they're just a little bit nervous that they've messed up. I am getting for some of you, this person may have had to cancel on you recently. Spirit is saying that you two are soulmates and with this being a destined partnership, there are definitely lessons here to be learned. So powerful stuff coming through here, Leo. Let's see what your person would like to say to you. Let's see what, oh, okay. That came flying out. We have, I want to, rest, I want you, I want to restore your faith in me. So this person definitely wants to make things up to you, Leo. And that's going to be really, that's going to be up to you. All right. So let's see. It's like the balls, the ball is in your court. There's a side to me you don't know. So I do feel like this person wants to take this relationship to the next level, wants to unveil deeper parts of themselves with that moon card. Um, and I want to spend the rest of my life loving you. So this person definitely doesn't want to miss out on this opportunity with you, Leo. Um, so let's see what uh, what else we can get here with this connection, the potential outcome. And we get burning desire. So we see that there's a lot of passion, which is a beautiful thing. But you do need to make sure that, you know, that they're really putting in the work and the effort. And that there's not too much focus on the physical or confusion here, um, mistaking, you know, sex for intimacy. There's, there has to be some changes here. Um, and we see lasting love. But this is your true love. And there is potential for this to grow into something more stable, safe, and secure. Spirit's reminding you that actions speak louder than words. So again, you need to make sure that this person really, truly does put in the time, put in the effort here, Leo. Um, and, you know, it could grow into something really beautiful. But again, it's going to be completely up to you. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance down below, along with my links to TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Leos. Take care.